is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Tonight, I'm excited to take a look at this. This big monster right here is the blue, bloody, bloody, bloody. Yeah, I'm not really good with names if you haven't figured that out by now. It's the EB-55, and it is a big boy uh, power pack. This is one of those portable power stations, solar power uh, recharge or um, AC recharge or 12 volt off of your car out alternator recharge. But this one can power some pretty significant stuff because it's a big boy. So let's go ahead and open her up. And I uh, appreciate them reaching out to me and wanting to work with me on this. I always say yes to these because... Uh, they're kind of a necessity out here in the wilderness, as I like to say. If we're out here and uh, power goes out quite a bit out this way, so we get the ability to back up our stuff and have power running even when there is no power. Between my solar uh, array that I've got and setups like this that are running off of, you know, 100 watt or 200 watt solar panels to keep them peaked up, that's great. And so the last one that I got that was a fairly large one now runs my radio station with it has 150 watts of solar and it and that runs the uh it's a 71 watt radio station between all the equipment and the laptop and then the uh, battery is recharged off that solar and it, and it runs long enough to run overnight to give you an idea of what you can do with stuff like this this one here we're going to use to run the router and stuff like that inside the house so i'm excited to play with this thing so let's go ahead and open this up and really nicely packaged too i'll say this thing came and it didn't uh it didn't look like you could get hurt. I suppose if you ran it over, maybe. But the way it was packed, I don't think they, they could drop it as often as they wanted to. It does have a warning here, keeping it out of direct sunlight. And uh, let's see what we got. 537 watt hours. That is not a small battery by any means. And uh, quick start guide. Looks like lots of USB, USB-C. We have an input here. Uh, four outlets for uh, 120 volts, and that's pretty awesome, too. We have a 12-volt cigarette lighter outlet, a couple of 12-volt direct outs. What's number four there? 12-volt output power button. Okay. And so this is what I thought was pretty cool. So up until now, all the ones I've reviewed have used, like, a barrel plug. This one here is more designed for solar, so it does include that style, and I'll show you when we get to it, so we can hook it directly to a solar panel. So it's kind of... Um, it's kind of made more for interacting directly with solar. And if you look at this, and I hope, yeah, you can see. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have this camera set up right now. I'm so sorry, everybody. There, let's try that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I'm really kind of excited about this one. Up to 400 watts of power input. So I could have four 100-watt panels running this thing. That That's significant. That's significant. So this is a... This is like cabin-sized off-grid uh, just based off of that because there's a lot of folks that don't have... Even that kind of solar at a cabin. All right. Oh, and then we've got it's a kind of a fold out setup here. So we have an LCD screen that shows our state of charge. We have input and output. I love that. So I can tell you how much the solar panels are charging versus how much is going out. That's important uh, for, for something you're going to set up, say, in a cabin or for a camper. That's the other thing that I think this would be a big selling point for is have something like this for a camper. Um, and then there's some just some information on how to store it and how to clean it. So there we go. And this here, let's see what this is. Uh, just our warranty card, so you could fill that out. Cool. All right, let's open this thing up here. We got our big box up here. Let's, um, actually, I'll tell you what. I'm going to unbox all of it, and I'll be right. Take all of it out of here, and we'll just play with it from there. Like I said, big stuffing. And here it is. And I love the fact that it's got a big handle for it. Yes, groovy. <laughs> I'm going to zoom out and make sure I'm good. There we go. There it is, the EB55. 700 watts of output power. That's the most powerful unit I've played with to date. 537 watt hour battery. That is not a small amount. So here's that input I was talking about. And you do still have your barrel plug adapter, but you also have direct connect. This is going to give, allow you to have more power coming in at any one given time than this can handle. So that's really cool. And over on this side, two 10 amp 12 volt outs plus our DC cigarette lighter output there. Let me tilt this up a little bit. Then we have four outlets here at 120 volts and that's 700 watts max capacity. That's not chump change. 
We have our on off button there, our on off button there, and then we also have USB DC out, four of them plus a USB 100 watt USB C. So each of these having individual power. Up on top here, wireless charging. So I guess if your phone has one of those things where you just lay your phone on top of it, it even comes with that, which is pretty nice. Of course, this cool carrying handle, and you know what? You need it because this thing's kind of heavy. I mean, that's a pretty good sized battery hiding out in there. Then we have a light on the back side, right? Several brightness modes plus a strobe mode. Nice. And a fan here and a fan here. So this thing does get hot, but it's ready for it. On the bottom, we do have some really nice rubber feet here and just the information on there. Uh, you know, just battery capacity, 24 volt uh, battery, 20, 24 amp hour. I mean, a 24 amp hour lithium battery that's not a small amount of power. All right, when we turn it on, nice colored uh, screen here. 0% in, 0% out. Let me turn that back on. And you can see there's also, I hope you can see, the little teeny weeny lights that light up when I turn on the various things. Right, and I like this. You can run this all at the same time. All right, let's do this. Let's open this up and see what else we got here. Okay, so here is our 12-volt charger. And again, there's our end there. So if you want to have charging from solar direct that's that's a whole lot better than the barrel style plug that um, that most of these units come with all right here is our other half of our charger and here's the 120 charger and that is significant look at that it even has its own cooling fan so this must be a pretty fast charger get my glasses on here yeah Output 25 volts at 8 amps, so we're talking about an 8 amp charger. Um, this thing is really going to throw some throw some heat down range to get that charged up in a hurry. And then look at this, and this is really nice. I had no idea this came with it. Here is uh, normal solar connectors for a 120 paneling, or 100, 100 watt panels. And there's our connector on the other side. So it is ready to go with a pre-wired solar setup. If you're buying a 100 watt panel online like the one I'm about to show you outside here, that's what it's going to come with from the factory. And so you can you can set that up and be ready to go right out of the box. That ain't uh that's probably 30 or 40 bucks right there. Um that's nice. That's really nice that that comes with that. So that's cool. And then it looks like it has a little bit of a of a strap to keep all the stuff tied up when not in use. Awesome. That is really awesome. This is uh of all the units that I've played with, this one here is really taking the cake as far as pretty cool. Okay, so let's go outside. I'll show you the solar panel that I'm going to hook this thing to, and uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, well, as you can see, I apparently was working too much for too long and failed to get the sunlight here. But I've got a 100-watt solar panel hooked up to it. And remember now, that, that's a 100-watt panel. That's a pretty good-sized panel. This thing is capable of having four of those going at the same time so 400 watts in that is a lot of power available when you're talking about a 700 watt inverter here out you have 400 watts coming in let's say conservatively you have 325 coming in on a lightly cloudy day that's 325 watts free energy coming in every hour that you can put back out without even touching the battery part of this you're just using the uh, solar charge controller that's built in and the inverter that's built in now you're going to take the sunlight away and you still have the reserve capacity of having a really large 537 watt hour or 540 let's just say watt hour uh, battery lithium ion battery so there's a lot of opportunity there to uh, have reserve power if you're talking about a camper you know yeah you won't be able to run a microwave with this thing but uh, 700 watts will run fans all night long run every light in the place and will run the water pumps and things like that so you can do everything pretty much but heat up water or use a microwave and that's that's pretty awesome amount of power available you put maybe two or three or four of these if you really want to go all out on the roof and you've got a lot of juice rolling through there so it's a really cool for that um, for home use yeah if power outages happen when you're talking about a 700 watt uh, power supply here think about this harbor freight has their little tailgater right that's a 900 cc max and it's about a 600 cc runtime which means it's actually less than this a two stroke uh, little single cylinder generator that thing's going to produce a lot of uh, noise 
those things are not not reliable but they're also not the most reliable but they produce a lot of smoke and they produce a lot of noise and you have to make sure that you have two stroke oil to use them this thing here if you roll into a power outage fully charged you have hours of use of usable energy and then uh, you know the day after the storm when the sun comes back out you have the ability to recharge it now i've got this hundred watt panel that was a seventy one dollar panel from um, i think it was renogy it may have been hsqt either way these panels are compatible it doesn't matter what brand of paneling you get for this now i also have a foldable panel that's a fifty watt and they make foldable hundred watt panels so if you're talking about something you want to go camping with and honestly i don't recommend trying to hike with something this size but if you wanted to you certainly could do that where you have a much more portable or you know movable uh, setup myself i use these kits like this and this one here is going to be like i said used to power our router and our phone system during power outages and i will do is buy another uh two probably i'm probably only gonna buy 200 watts i might get 300 watts for this thing and i'll be uh, putting those permanently on the roof and running a line down just to charge and power this this is a way for folks to go off grid a little bit at a time and uh and i like that so i have my big 1200 i say big because a lot of folks out there have 10 or 12,000 watts but i have a 1200 watt system that runs about a third of our property now and if you added up all the other all smaller systems that I've now accumulated and all the additional paneling, I'm closer to 2,200 watts of power now on my property. And some of that I haven't shown you, some of it I have, some of it I'll get around to showing you later. But things like this are a great way to move slightly off grid, or if you have a camp or a camper and you're interested in trying to see what it's like to go off grid, pretty darn cool. I guess that'll do it for today, my friends. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I would run appreciate that Bluetti uh, worked with me on this and sent this out for me to check out. I'm always feeling blessed as a content creator when a company wants to work with me on something, and it's something that I desperately need. That's not always the case in this uh, strange industry that I find myself in, but when it comes to these power packs, I hope you'll agree that these things serve a really cool purpose, and I'm glad that I can share them with you. Till next time, my friends. Take care.